Today, the Department of Justice has filed a civil complaint seeking to forfeit and recover more than $1 billion in assets stolen from 1MDB. Malaysia's Anti-Corruption Commission has released phone recordings of former Prime Minister Najib Razak. The former Prime Minister of Malaysia, Najib Razak, has been sentenced to 12 years in jail after being found guilty of corruption. <laughs> In 2011, SRC International was born with promise of powering Malaysia's future. By 2014, it was supposed to supply vital coal for the nation. But what unfold was a scandal of epic proportion. Accusation of embezzlement robbed the government on firm. Millions mean for strategic investment were allegedly siphoned off. The early 2010s witnessed the SRC International Crisis, a financial storm shaking Malaysian politics. Founded as 1MDB subsidiary, it aims was noble to boost economic growth and manage national finance. But corruption allegations emerged. Funds meant for public welfare were divert for personal gain. Shockingly, money actually found its way into the Prime Minister's account. The scandal tarnished Malaysia's image globally, raising questions about accountability and transparency. Legal action followed with conviction and investigation unfolding. The SRC international scandal triggered calls for a stronger financial oversight, anti-corruption measure and ethical governance. The impact was profound. Malaysia faced a reckoning prompting a quest for justice, transparency and renewed commitment to ethical practice in public institutions. The SRC International Scandal, a web of financial mismanagement and corruption, has cast a shadow over Malaysian political and financial landscape. This isn't just about money, it's about ethics. The misissue of public funds erodes the very principle of governance and moral conduct we expect from our leaders. Accountability, transparency and the rule of the law were compromised, shaking the ethical foundation of a just society. The scandal triggered legal action, exposing deficiency in Malaysia legal and regulatory framework. The lack of check and balance in government on entity like SRC International demand comparison legal change. Financially, the impact was immense. Misappropriate fund meant for strategic investment, jeopardized plan project, raising concern about Malaysian economic growth. Global financial institutions involved with SRC International face reputation risk, prompting a review of a risk management procedure. Public trust hit rock bottom, the tarnished image of the government's ability to manage finance and uphold moral behavior requires urgent restoration. In aftermath, we explore solution, comprehensive reform to prevent a recurrence, rebuild public trust and ensure the ethical governance Malaysia deserves. The SRC International Scandal Rock Malaysia, revealing a web of corruption, financial mismanagement and ethical misconduct. To prevent such incidents in the future, a comprehensive approach is essential. Firstly, legal and regulatory reforms are key. Thorough investigation must be conducted, holding wrongdoers accountable. Recent convictions like that of Najib Razak shows the commitment to justice. Furthermore, Whistleblower protection is crucial, encouraging individuals to report misconduct, ensure transparency and justice. Initiatives like Transparency International Speak Up Against Corruption Campaign empower citizens. Next, public awareness is vital. Then, political financing reforms are a must. TIM's proposal for institutional legislative and media reforms aim to enhance transparency and accountability in political funding. Last but not least, Recovering misappropriate funds is essential. Internal audits and legal means should be employed to identify and reclaim assets, ensuring responsibility and productivity. Remember, specific solutions may vary, but a united effort from government, law enforcement, civil society and international partner is crucial to ensure transparency, accountability and the prevention of future financial scandals. The SRC International Scandal Shop Malaysia 
exposing a web of financial mismanagement, corruption, and ethical misconduct. The public trust in leadership scrambled as significant public funds were misused for private gain, compromising governance principles and more integrity. Legal and regulatory actions were taken, resulting in indictments and convictions, highlighting the importance of robust legal frameworks. To prevent future scandals, Malaysia must take proactive measures, strengthening legal and regulatory frameworks is paramount, implementing stricter oversight and effective checks and balance. Ethical education and training are crucial. Investing in these four public officials and corporate leaders can instill a culture of integrity and ethical behavior. Financial reforms are imperative, implementing changes to strengthen the financial management of government-owned companies, ensures funds are used as intended. It's time for Malaysia to take proactive action, building a future where financial mismanagement and corruption are prevented and public trust is restored.